Okay, for our batter mix, I've got one egg here that I've beaten. Beaten quite well. Now I've got some all-purpose flour here. I work half a cup. Let's get that in. Create that ball. Then I've got here ice cold water, which we're going to add a little bit at a time. I want this to be quite thick, this one, um, because I want it to really sort of grab our ingredient or whatever you're doing. And this works well on any form of vegetable or fish, shrimps, meat. Okay, that's really good. Okay, now I've got here some baking soda. That will again add to a, a little bit of air. That will kind of lift it a little bit. I've got a touch of corn starch or corn flour, which are the same thing, by the way. Which is called different names. They have different names depending on where you come from. And that's nice and thick. That's really beautiful. Now I'll add some salt to taste. I'm going to add a little bit of food colour, red food colour. I mean, optional, you don't have to do this at all. Or if you wanted, you could add some turmeric or haldi. Now, again, you could add some spice. I'm going to add uh, a little bit of cardamom powder. Gives it a real kind of floral taste. You could add chilli if you wanted or you could add some garlic powder now or anything you like really. Now I've got some black mustard seeds. Just a few of those in there. Hopefully they're going to grab onto Our cauliflower and give that a real beautiful look. But it's really important that you just keep beating this, keep beating this. Right, that's beautifully smooth. It's got an incredible colour as you can see, which is optional. And that is done. Okay, so I've got some oil on here. That's what a centimetre of. I'm using sunflower oil, which is getting nice and hot now. We're simply just going to take our cauliflower, which by the way, I've just steamed it for two minutes just to give it a head start. If we were using zucchini or aubergine or eggplant or brinjal or mushrooms, I'd use them raw, but because this is quite a hard vegetable, I've just steamed it just to give it a little, like I say, head start on its on on itself, or is it just be a little bit too crunchy? Right, so I'm just dipping it in our mixture and then in they go. And they don't need long now, they're going to just be like, two minutes they're going to be done, so we're just going to sort of toss them around, so they get a nice coating. And then we're going to take them out, we're going to put them on some kitchen towel, and they'll be done. I'll see you in a moment. Simple as can be, really delicious. Let's just take the one here. 
Fantastic. They're really crispy on the outside, really beautifully soft in the middle. It's really important that you use that cold water to make your batter. Add whatever little spice you like or colour or no colour, entirely up to you. These are really easy, it works on any vegetable. We'll see you again next time, take care, bye bye.